Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick video on installing the Create Autonomy. Uh, this is just a driver for the iRobot uh, series. So you got the iRobot 2, you got some iRobot 1s, which are the white ones. Alright, so let's go ahead and get going. So this is, uh, we're going to be using this with Ross. So they have this nice tutorial. Let's go down to see what we need. Um, I'm using Indigo. Uh, first thing you want to run is this sudo apt-get install your Python dependencies. I already did that line. It's not, I'm not going to do it here. Alright, so here is your workspace. They are saying you can make your own workspace just for this. I'm not going to. Um, and this is a old method anyways. So let's skip right down here to this git clone. Gonna control C. Alright, so let me show you real quick what this looks like. So I have a Catkin workspace and then these three folders of course and then the, I'm going to be putting my git clone into this folder, my SRC. So let's do that. All right, so I need to go to, to a current directory Catkin SRC. Let's move there and then let's paste my git command. So that's going to create it real quick. Did it. Alright, so what's next? Step three, install the dependencies. I'm going to do this first line. I'm not going to do the second line. The reason for that is because, well, I'm already in the SRC folder, um, and this is again using the outdated make system. Uh, and then we'll build it using catkin make, not catkin build. So here in a second. Um, this hasn't, this doesn't seem to be working with the create one yet, so I still gotta figure that out. Um, so catkin underscore make. Oh. Okay, so I'm not in the, I'm not in the right folder. So let me go back one. So you current directory space dot dot brings you back one folder, and then I can go cat can make. All right, it's gonna make that. So let's look ahead as it's making. Um, so looking ahead. All right, so USB permissions. In order to connect to a create over USB, ensure that you have the dial out group. All right, so this was a little confusing, but he has sudo user mod dash a dash capital G dial out and then user. Now this is where you put your own username. Well, your, your uh, sign in name for your account. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this paste and then I'm not going to push enter I'm going to get rid of user uh, and I'm going to type in my username which happens to be researcher3 researcher3 alright it looks right enter sudo so oops All right, seems like that worked. And then that's actually it. So now let's see if it worked. Uh, okay, so I don't have to source. My bash is already sourced. Yours is too, if you followed the ROS uh, install instructions. So I'm gonna be running that launch file for the crate two. So my crate is on, you see the green light. And then I'm going to plug in my serial which is underneath that grid, green lid. Um, USB is already plugged in. I don't think the order matters too much there. Then I'm going to copy and paste this launch file. Alright, so actually, just by coincidence, my Roomba just timed out. So, I'm going to turn that back on. Um, Alright, so I'm going to launch this guy. Hopefully I'll get a little feedback here. 
All right, so there it gives me battery level, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just take a look. So we're at our uh, sensor, so ROS, top list. And so we see here a nice, ah, the scrolls the worst. All right, nice selection of sensors and whatnot. All right. And that's it. Thanks.